What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, this game looks so fucking goofy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucking anime Colonel Sanders. Oh my god. Oh, I bet you guys didn't expect this kind of game on my channel. <laughs> What's up, my boys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger-licking good dating simulator. What? I don't know why I decided to play this game, but I saw it on Steam when looking for free games. Yeah, believe it or not, this is actually free. And uh, yeah, I just decided to put this on my wish list, put it in the back burner for now, and wait for the perfect day to actually play this. And uh, today is the perfect day. Now you're probably thinking, what the fuck is this fucking bullshit? Like, this KFC bullshit with Colonel Sanders? This is probably like some sort of parody made by an indie company, right? Uh, well no. This is actually officially published by KFC. Bruh. I, I don't know what kind of business decisions they made up at the fucking higher ups or like, yo, you know what? We need to make a fucking visual novel dating simulator with Colonel Sanders. I don't know what to expect from this game. I'm assuming we're gonna be going on a date with Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Let's click on new game. Let's see what this game is about. Welcome, chef. Before we get started, tell us your name. Should we go with Slim Shady? Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go with Slim Shady. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Oh my god, it's fucking chicken and biscuits as the loading screen. That's amazing. I actually had Chick-fil-A earlier today. I didn't have KFC. I actually haven't had KFC in a while. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Your student? Oh my god. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now. Now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh, we're in culinary school. Okay. Smack that clock, open Adam. Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Now we gotta get up. I know. I hate being a morning person, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Look, I'm just saying right now, KFC is a fucking fast food place. What are you learning from culinary school that'll help you in KFC? <laughs> Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You need to take this seriously, you allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. Uh, we gotta take this ser- Nah, let's daydream a bit. I'm assuming we're gonna get a job at like KFC or some shit. <laughs> it's here, finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your, your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Is that a biscuit on you? Mmm, delicious. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. Yo, why is this game like actually really smooth right now? Like, honestly, I, I'm kind of digging the art style, despite how kind of odd this is being related to KFC. <laughs> Yikes, you're in such a hurry. In fact, you, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. Oh, that's gross. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're gonna be smelling like ass when we walk into that classroom. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Such a weird name for a school. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. We got friends? Oh my god. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Jesus Christ. Good morning, Slim Shady. <laughs> oh god. Why is it all caps too? That makes it so weird. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of your lot of our lives? Actually, I'm because I sure am. Excited, a little nervous. Okay. Okay, a lot nervous. I mean it's culinary school. Although it is the first day of college, so yeah, I guess that would make sense. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? I mean, that's why you're here. You're here to learn, right? Classic Miriam. Raised by MasterChef parents, she always held herself to a very high standard. Mmm. Strict parents, huh? 
Not tiger parents? Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Oh, so childhood friends. Okay. This kind of reminded me of Lucent 9. But with University of Cooking School Academy for Learnings... God, that's such a long name. <laughs> Famous three-day-only semesters. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Wait, three-day-only semesters? What kind of college is this? A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a fair... a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth, practicing on a mannequin. What the fuck? But should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? What? This is so fucking random. Um, change subject to school got- Nah, pep talk your best friend. Come on. Remember, the, remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Oh god, tarot cards. I actually know about tarot, tarot cards now because of Danganropa. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I knew she looked spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. I just realized, is our character a female? Kind of seems like it. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I can call my own. Oh my god. Well, I mean, this is a dating simulator, so I shouldn't really expect less from this. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, you will be graduating. And you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. Yeah, fucking three-day-only semesters? We can do four years in, like, one day. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Eh. I mean, it's all, it's all right. Can you believe I cut them myself? You can definitely believe it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... I, I think you should go see a barber. I, uh... I cannot believe it. <laughs> Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom-engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Who the fuck did that? Hey! It's Ashley? Ashley? Is is that what her name is? Your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be fulfilled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Or Ashley? Maybe Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Hey, what the fuck? We haven't even met Colonel Sanders yet. You leave Slim Shady's shins alone. Oh my god, Slim Shady's shins. <laughs> they are perfectly normal shins. Ugh. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that she's actually- it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> okay, so it is Ashley. Okay. If everyone here knows what perfect shins looks like, look like, it's us. We're not going to light you or your really weird insults get to us. It's a weird ass game, bro. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, <laughs> has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Okay. <laughs> Ahem, Van Van. You ring ring? Oh my god, bro, what is this dude wearing? <laughs> what the fuck? You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Okay. God, this guy's like a JoJo character. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now. Okay. I see. So she's gonna be like, uh, like the fucking cocky rival, you know? <laughs> or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs can learn a lot from us. Okay. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not- There's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Yeah, are we not heading to class yet? What's going on? Let's go, Miriam. Psh! See you later, losers! Oh, what the fuck? As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking a goofy kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. 
What is that sound? Not to be racist or anything, but Asian people. <laughs> is that a boy or a girl? Oh, either way, they look like a fucking cat. Oh, you really got a fart? Ah. Uh. Oopsie. Pop. That's your name. Jolly good show. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Oh, was that? I, th I thought that was a fart. <laughs> Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. Oh, I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop. Pop. He's old. Okay. <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh my god. Hi, Pop. I'm Slim Shady, so... <laughs> Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Oh, okay, so it is a guy. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? Oh my god. She's already hitting on the first guy she she looks at? Wow. I think it's just you. <laughs> you both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in to keep and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. What the fuck is that? You see that picture over there? Also, isn't this culinary school? Why are there like, why are there like equations and graphs and shit? Why is there a map over here? What's going on here? Oh my god, it's a fucking dog. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium at, at the front of the class. Adorable. Okay. What the fuck is this game, man? Why did I decide to play this today? Now, now, quiet down everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? This doesn't look like a culinary class. But I, I don't know, I, I've never been to fucking cooking school, so... You must be Sprinkles. Sprinkles? Okay. <laughs> Head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. You know, honestly, having it as initials makes it a lot easier to say. Please call me for Professor Dog. <laughs> hey dog, what's up? I may be cute and, and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. Oh my god, bro. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. <laughs> what? <laughs> Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush in as, you, as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Okay. I guess, I'm guessing it's spring right now in the game. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. Why is the window open? And then... He walks in. Oh, here he is! The main man himself. Why does he look so young, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Colonel Sanders, bro. Oh my god. Imagine if the real Colonel Sanders ever saw this game, bro. He's fucking turning in his grave right now. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. Wait, student? I thought he was gonna be fucking teaching us. <gasps> it's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Harland? Colonel Sanders erupts, interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. <laughs> I'ma call you Colonel. <laughs> Piss off all the English teachers. Colonel Sanders. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desk. Suddenly the room is sweltering. <laughs> oh my god, bro. So that begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melt into a puddle and evaporates entirely. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on just a second, nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Oh, okay, so everybody just knows each other in college, okay. Besides, when Slim Shady sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Ugh, what the fuck? <laughs> you need to chill. You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. What? Okay. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently. 
his hand outstretched. Oh my god. Boy, howdy. This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Ha <laughs> ha. Should, should I fucking talk like him? Please use my handkerchief. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Oh my god, what am I playing, bro? <laughs> Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. About how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. Oh yeah, I forgot we're really sweaty because we had to fucking run all the way to class. <laughs> this can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Oh my god. How will you respond? I mean, he offered it, so I'm taking it. You stretch out your hand, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. Oh my god. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. <laughs> oh god. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Ew, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Oh my god, please do. Can we can we just start already? Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. What is the best culinary academy out there? I don't know. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. Well, I'm just saying, there better not be any blood in my food, bro. <laughs> and when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Okay. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Oh god, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Ronald McDonald? <laughs> What the fuck? Who the fuck is that guy? Uh, hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... The fuck? QUIET! <laughs> late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? What is this guy's posture, bro? What, what, is, he girl, is he throwing up gang signs? What is he doing <laughs> with his hands? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. What? Why do you have the same teacher every three years? Isn't this supposed to be college? You can't flunk out of college. If you flunk out of college, then you just get kicked out, right? Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... I mean, I'm assuming we're all first years here, so why would we remember him? You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Okay. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. Who the fuck is Clank? Clank? Like Ratchet and Clank? You turn to see the student Sprinkles is, is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. What? Oh my god, what the fuck is he? What? I thought it was like a filing cabinet, but he's just some sort of machine. I don't know what he is. Psst. The class bursts into laughter. <laughs> oh my god. Why is there a machine in our fucking culinary class, bro? Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Oh god. Hmm. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Sprinkles. I've just been eating a lot of KFC. <laughs> you never had a talking dog as your teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decided to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Uh, I feel like he won't like any of these. Beef treat? Rubber ball? Chicken snack? Uh, let's give him the chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. Oh, he likes it. His favorite! Look at that. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for a new star student. God, are we gonna be a fucking teacher's pet? Oh god, the furry professor immediately devours a snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm dog drool. 
Ugh. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. What? Okay. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. Oh my god, I need some water, bro. This is, uh, this is a lot of reading. <coughs> oh god, I was choked on my water, but the water almost went to my nose. <coughs> oh. Ah, that's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, as everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Ah, oh. oh, God. Only two options remain. Uh. Hey, Slim Shady. There's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Oh, we get to sit next to Colonel Sanders. Well, that's just great. Two good options, but which will you choose? Uh, I mean, isn't this whole game based around Colonel Sanders? Fuck it, we'll sit by it. <laughs> we'll sit by the Colonel. Moved, you moved to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his, in his desire to learn. And we're gonna be cheating off him on all the quizzes. Actually, what kind of fucking test are we taking, bruh? This is culinary school. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can, and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Oh boy, here we go. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. What? You haven't even learned anything yet. Yay, a quiz about me. Oh my god, pop things- oh my god. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes this question number one. Hey, yo, do we have any, like, appliances or tools or anything? Like, we're- we're just sitting in a normal fucking classroom right now. Oh god, if train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't matter at all. It depends. Extremely looking at you, Pop. I mean, it's very important to wash your hands while cooking. Extremely. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Huh? It's to a slam dunk. Night vision goggles. Uh, feather? That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A spork. I'm assuming it's gonna be a spork. Comically oversized spork, a meat tenderizer. <laughs> Give your meat a good old rub. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. <laughs> oh my god, I wonder if anyone's gonna get that reference. A spork. That's right! What food is the best- is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat, a pancake... That looks like a silly face. <laughs> Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. That's right! Is Sprinkles a good boy? No, he's a talking dog that teaches at, at culinary school. He is the best boy. <laughs> yes. Alright, you, you know what? Fine, we'll fucking suck up to the teacher. That's right! Your total score is... Perfect score, 5 out of 5. Cool. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? Well, well no. How the fuck were we gonna cheat on this quiz? <laughs> you look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. Hey, we're, we're impressing the colonel. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Okay. <laughs> Bro, how old is Colonel Sanders? And how old is everybody else here? There's got to be some sort of like fucking age gap here. Because even though he looks younger than he does on like the logo and shit, he still looks way older than everyone else here. <laughs> Hot diggity, Slim Shady, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. Oh my god. Are we getting senpai points here? May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would be- would also be serious about eating. The Stewart Cafeteria. Damn, this place does look pretty nice. 
way better than any fucking high school cafeteria I've been in. Uh, a delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Are we gonna have KFC? Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Oh, what what does this guy want? What does uh, Mr. Gang Signs want? With like the weird nose. What, what do you want, man? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Bro, we don't give a shit. Only the professor gives a shit about that. <laughs> Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. Oh my god, why... Why is Colonel Sanders the fucking superstar here? I mean, I guess it makes sense. He's fucking popular as hell. But I... Shh. Yeah, fuck off. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. I just said shed. <laughs> she said shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. What is it, KFC? That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Oh my god, it's a bucket of chicken. Oh boy. I bet Scout from TF2 would be very happy right now. I got a bucket of chicken. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. That honestly looks really good. Dude, there's something about anime food and like the way they like draw it that makes it look so good. Like, it's fucking crazy. Like, anime just makes you hungry, man. The aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Oh my god. Was this, dude, was this Colonel Sanders, like, were this his college days right here? Was this before KFC was a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve this perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. Oh my god. D look, I'm surprised that Colonel Sanders isn't the professor. Like, why is he a student around here? <laughs> but that's all I'll say about that. I was gonna give him, like, a fucking American voice. I don't know. <laughs> what, you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, my dude, nah. What's up with this dude, bro? I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Got him. <laughs> He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. The only thing you burnt is your food. Boom. Roasted. You wait to see what zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just, like, writing in my diary. Oh my god. <laughs> Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Oh my god. Is she hitting on Colonel Sanders? Bro, are all the girls gonna be hitting on Colonel Sanders? Is that what's going on here? You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame for co with cooking skills like this. She wants him all, all to herself. Oh my god. Oh, please. Oh, dude, is Van Van being jealous that uh, his girl is falling for the Colonel? Well, Van Van, the man-man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Oh, wait, no, no, that's some shady. Whoops. <laughs> I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. God, this guy's fucking... What is his face? What, what is going on here? I just realized he has a fucking headband on. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts con contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's 
amazing. I mean, personally, I prefer Chick-fil-A. Dude, I, I'd even prefer Popeyes over KFC, to be honest. I haven't had KFC in so long. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Oh my god. Why are we looking at the Milky Way right now? What's going on? Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. <laughs> Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. What, are we dying right now? Uh, I guess focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Yeah, let's try to learn from him then. If he's so talented and like the best student around, then we may as well try to learn from him. You let the food rest in, in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt, maybe? Pepper. Too obvious? Oregano? Basil? Maybe, but there's something else. Something dark. Something spicy. You dig deeper. 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 I don't like where this is going. Yes, even deeper still. Whoa. Fucking chill out, bro. It's just a fucking chicken drumstick, bro. <laughs> Until you find it. Could it be... What? Why is there just a blank there? He really did it. How bold. How adventurous. To use... What? To use what? What, use his dick? You try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret, and yet, now you know. A mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. Oh my god, is this like a fucking Krabby Patty secret formula going on here? Where we like figure out a secret ingredients or some shit? As you look around, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one noticed that you've traveled through space and time. Well, cause you didn't. You're just fucking tripping off chicken wings, bro. <laughs> After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Oh my god. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders ever so softly as you approach- smiles ever so softly as you approach. S excuse me. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if, if I can talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> oh, we got kind of worried there. I saw his face. Ha ha ha. How bold of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all, for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely like before KFC was a thing, you know? This was actually Colonel Sanders' um, uh, fucking college days. I don't know why I stuttered there. <laughs> it's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. <laughs> fucking three day semesters, bro. I wish this was school work, bro. Imagine having only, only to stay fucking three days for a semester, instead of saying like four years in college. <laughs> He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't you be- shouldn't learning be fun? Oh. You got moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Oh my god. <laughs> Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use... What, what? What is this? Is this some fucking, like, Krabby Patty secret formula? Like, the secret ingredient is love? Oh my god, this is a dating simulator, so that actually could be true. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Blank? Wow! You'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where to get some- you'd get some if you search. What, what, like truffle? What, what, what is he using? Caviar? And blank definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before, so now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. Okay. 
you find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Graduated. Bro, <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of hard for me to do that voice. It sounds like he had big plans. Oh, yeah, fucking big plans, bro. You fucking know that uh, KFC is actually global? I've seen a KFC in, like, Thailand before. <laughs> when I visited uh, that place. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Oh yeah. I mean, he, he's not wrong, bro. He definitely left his mark on the world. Alone together for the first time, you figured now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Oh god, here we go. This is when we start opening up to the colonel. Okay. Neg him to show your strength. I don't even know what that means. While him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. Uh, I don't even know what my own strengths are, but let's just show them off. You know, I've been thinking about your secret recipe. Ooh, of course you were. You don't simply forget a flavor combination like that. That's exactly ri that's exactly right. I remember it because I've tasted it before. I stopped at a random fried chicken stand the other day, and their chicken tasted exactly like yours. Oh shit. Is he stealing the recipes? Yo, Colonel Cotton 4K? Hmm. Did you just compare my recipe to a random fried chicken stand? Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> well, yes, I did, but it was a really good stand. Especially considering it was frozen first. Oh my god. Yeah, he's saying that as an insult. Frozen chicken? Colonel Sanders struggles to conceal his emotions, fighting back tears of anger. Oh my god. I can't believe you'd say such a thing. You realize you've done irreparable damage to your to your relationship from which it can never recover. He's hurt. Oh fuck. Did I fuck it up? Did I pick the wrong choice? Damn it. How could you? Hey Slim Shady. You saw that this game was called a dating sim, right? If that's your idea of dating, this is not the game for you. Oh my god, is this- Is this a game talking to me now? Oh my god. Game over. Are you serious? I can actually fucking game over in this game? What? Okay. What the fu- I didn't realize me showing off my strength would fucking get me a game over. Okay, let's try again. You find Colonel Sanders outside staying in the quad. Okay, we do- we don't have to restart the entire game, thank god. Okay, so wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Sure, let's wow him with a good idea. You know, about that, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it, as a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decide to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. Jesus. I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe? And you think you can do better? Oh god, don't tell me he's fucking insulted by this. Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? <gasps> heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper vari varieties. Habanero, plabano, uh, cayenne? Okay. <laughs> I don't know about peppers that much, so, uh, if I pronounce those wrong, then, uh, please cut me some slack. <laughs> but that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. Oh my- did I fail this again? A recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to- Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipe, Slim Shady. I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. That, cer that certainly didn't go as planned. Are you serious? Fair head back inside, but you wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. You step into the massive cooking arena. Oh, so I didn't fail. Okay. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they can need. Okay, this is a type of, like, classroom that I was expecting for a culinary school. Not fucking desk and chairs and a fucking chalkboard. No, a real fucking kitchen. Look at this place, it's magnificent. Finally, we get, to, we get to show off our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no. We have to show all our stuff. What if I totally blow it? Calm down, Miriam. You're not going to blow anything. <laughs> blow anything? Stop! Except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Damn, okay. 
It's like I'm fucking Miriam's hype man. Welcome students to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off! Oh my god, is it gonna make me choose between partners again? Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but un unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh my god. Hey Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. I mean, I think he's probably pissed off at me. Want to be my partner? Aww. Sure, Slim Shady. I'll prepare our station. Oh, okay. Oh, poor Miriam. Oh man. Should I have sat next to her first? Nah, no, this is a fucking dating simulator. Fuck this shit. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Oh no. Hello, new partner. Oh my god. Pop and... Whoever the fuck this guy is. Clank, that was his name. Beep boop. Psst. <laughs> oh my, two potential partners? I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you will have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. I have to pick for her? Are you serious? Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Pop or Clank? I don't fucking know. Uh, maybe Pop would be easier to, to work with? I don't know. But then again, Clank is a machine, bro. He'd probably, he'd probably be efficient with uh, his ingredients and do things perfectly. Actually, I don't feel bad for Pop. Yeah, fuck it. Go for Clank. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay. I already ate. <laughs> what? It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school is, even is, at this po at this juncture. Okay. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Okay. Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. I mean, he kinda has a face. Why is there, like, a clock and, like... A little switch that you turn? Why is that just blinking? What? <laughs> oh, oh, he is smiling, I just realized. Tissue, I hardly know you. That was such a lame joke, Miriam. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> Clank judders, and, his pan and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Okay. Oh my god, don't tell me that Miriam is gonna fall in love with the fucking machine. Looks like you two will be fine. Yeah, and we're gonna be finer with Colonel Sanders, bro. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Oh god, here we go. Alright, you two, for today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide it up to steps. And divide up the steps. We can just make, like, eggs and toast. <laughs> That's the only thing I can make in real life. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. I mean, it only takes one flint and iron to make a flint and steel. So, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Sprinkles. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Fuck, I gotta suggest it? Bro, th he's the fucking colonel, bro. <laughs> just just let him make fucking uh, chicken or whatever. <laughs> Steak tartar seems easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, I gotta go with mashed potatoes and gravy, right? I've always been something of a down-home chef. Chef, I was thinking we can make something warm, inviting, comforting. I saw hearts pop out of Colonel Sanders' uh, body. Uh, I don't know what that was about. I guess I picked right? I don't know. Maybe mashed potatoes? <gasps> and gravy? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, he, he fucking read my mind, yeah. Plus, he ordered mashed potatoes and gravy at KFC. I couldn't imagine one without the other. I've actually had mashed potatoes without gravy, and it's so bland. <laughs> it's like eating fucking uh, white rice without anything else. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. God, this is so much reading, man. Why did I decide to play a visual novel today? No, please, light me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. <sighs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? Oh my god, fuck off, Ashley. We're just cooking partners, mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business, 
and you'd better keep your fingers off my man. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. She's jealous that I'm fucking working with the colonel. Nah, bro, he's mine. Plus, you got fucking Van Van. Did someone call for me? Ugh, no, cheese, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Slim Shady's his dreams, uh, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? What? You're making Van Van do all the work? Aw, oh, hell no. She's the worst kind of partner to have for, like, a group project, bro. Oh my god. Yo, what is with this music right now? Why is it so epic? <laughs> Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley, Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a, instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looks like Slim Shady was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. Yeah, like you're not a fucking amateur chef. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Huh, doubt it. Bro, this man's still trying to show off against the Colonel. <laughs> Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for, partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Can you fuck off, Ashley? Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Oh my god. Nothing about this makes any sense. But one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel, if you don't watch out. Oh my god. Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Oh fuck. Uh, turn to Colonel Sanders, hunk of hunks, in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always has your back. Uh, Fuck, I guess... You know what? No, no, let's turn to Colonel Sanders. I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with the pre- not bicker with prima donnas. Ooh, take that. Partners were choose were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? Mmm, got him. You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and tr Colonel Sanders chose me, isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on Slim Shady as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Let's go! Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Slim Shady's natural talent, or their loyalty. Ooh, fucking got him! Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. I've been going for 53 minutes? God damn. You look for Sprinkles, in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Down those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that, in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Oh shit. Damn. Fucking Ultra Instinct, bro. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. Damn. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hands. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Bro, Ashley, can you fuck off? Why are you just standing there looking at us? Oh yeah, she's having Van Van doing all the work, yeah. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would do would be very proud. That honestly looks pretty good. Oh my god. Colonel Sanders holds out holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork. And for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Oh my god, bro, we are really hitting on Colonel Sanders. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. 
Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I can't believe that KFC actually published this game. <laughs> And then filled with rage, and without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid beautiful face. Damn! You just threw it straight at her! Van Van, do something, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Fucking got him. Hold on right there, Slim Shady. We do not waste food on in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Damn. <laughs> Can I has potato face? <laughs> Fucking pop. Did Pop ever find a partner? I know I told Miriam to partner up with Clank. Man Man rushes back over a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus with in my silky salt saltwater sauce. What? Plated on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. God damn! Oh my god, I didn't even realize the fucking battle axe. Jeez. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have the first bite. And you will all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. Oh my god, I'm actually getting tired reading all of this. No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. Uh, the results could be toxic. Oh my god. <laughs> Too late, it has to be eaten. I, uh... I think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. Oh my god. It killed him. Wait, what? Did Van Van actually poison this guy? Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. Is he actually dead? Why does he have like a sheet over him? When you look back when you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up in Pop's mouth. No, Pop! <laughs> Pop, why did you just slurp it all up? Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Wait, what? Oopsie. What? How did that student just die and then Pop just survives that? What? I don't fucking understand this world, bro. Tastes like poison. Oh my god. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the, cr the whole crowd as they are, mo they are as motionless as statues. What? Did he die? The class bell rings, disrupting the moment, and snapping everyone back to reality. Snap back to reality! Oh, there goes gravity! Ah, oh, it's so fitting that my guy's name is uh, Slim Shady. Oh my god. <laughs> it would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Oh, so he's completely fine. This, this, this kid just eats poison. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. <laughs> um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. Ghost of student. Dude, we didn't even learn his name. He's just called student. <laughs> Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk you home. What? Like for real? Oh, come on! You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and, mo and more than a little spooky. What's going on? Are we... Some murder mystery? What's going on here? Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Oh, God. Are we gonna be... Are we gonna be lying down on the grass looking at the stars? That was going on here? Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. I don't even re I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. T 
taste in them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Is this the lore of Colonel Sanders right here? And this is how he ended up adding mashed potatoes onto the menu? <laughs> Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously imp important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Uh, this reading is getting tougher and tougher the longer we go. I've been going for an hour already. Now might be the perfect time to tell them you're developing feelings for him. Oh my god. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Slim Shady? There's something I need to tell you. Oh my god, fucking Van Van. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh jeez. Van Van, you're fucking interrupting the moment, man. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. Oh my god. Is he just fucking jealous? And every day since, I've been I have been working toward that dream, day and night. Never stopping, never resting. Also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. Yeah, dude, this guy's fucking jacked. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts. That our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Ooh. Hey, no. I... you... Shut up. I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. God, this dude is so jealous. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Y you can't prove that. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, I, if the definition of death in this world is... Putting a blanket over someone and making like a ghost voice, uh, then uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe he killed the guy. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? What was his name? <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Who is that? Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. What the fuck? The spork monster is here to fight a hero. What? What the fuck is this? This looks like a fucking alien meatball with sporks popping out. Actually, it looks like a virus. What the hell? I uh, I think that I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. What the fuck do you have in your fridge? How dare you threaten me just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me. Because I'm a monster, see? God, I feel like I'm playing fucking Undertale. This honestly looks like it's something out of Undertale. <laughs> is he rhyming on purpose, or is that just a coincidence? Hey, Slim Shady, you better start rhyming too. <laughs> but, but, but before you can discuss syntax any further... It's a turn-based fight sequence. Wait, what? What will you do? Attack to fend? What the fuck? Uh, okay, I guess attack? You decide to go on the attack! Which attack will you use? Cook with love? Where's my, uh, blue eyes white dragon? What? Or whatever the fucking shit is, I don't know. <laughs> Cook with love does one damage, oh no. It just got real. That attack really upset Spork Monster. Oh fuck, are we gonna die? What's going on here? Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. Oh my god. You take one damage. What the fuck? What are we doing? Okay, I guess attack. You decide to go on the attack. It worked last time, right? Okay, I guess cook with love again. One damage. Spork Monster won't forget this. Spork Monster is really feeling threatened by your attack. Spork Monster focuses their mesh mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Uh, defend? You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation? <laughs> you hold your head between your hands and mutter, This is not happening. This is not happening. Hey, yo, Colonel Sanders, can you help me out? You're literally a colonel. So, I mean, you should be able to fight this thing, right? <laughs> Spork Monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. But I'm defending this time. Spork Monster uses Utilitensil. You take 2 damage from the attack. Okay. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Okay, then attack? You decide to call in the attack. 
Oh my god, one damage. Spork Monster is oozing cheese sauce onto the lawn of the quad. I wonder who is going to have to clean that up. Why are we fucking battling right now? Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for its ultimate attack, Rounded Edge. Vile villain! Your reign of terror stops here! Hey, Colonel! Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens, what the fuck? Pot Pie Power Pinch! What the hell? Pot Pie Power Pinch does 10 damage, god damn. Spork Monster is defeated! <laughs> you... saved me. Oh my god. An injured Spork Monster spews steam into the night. Forget Mercy finish him, spare this, this wretched beast. You know what? Colonel Sanders already killed him, so spare him. It's like Undertale. <laughs> you managed to tamp down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he is still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, beast, and don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. Oh shit. Fuck, should I have killed him? I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back like you said. Oh, okay, I guess that works. The spork monster scuttles off into the night. The defeated monster left, monster def left behind a special item. Oh my god. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells, what the hell? With a golden chicken on the cover. What the hell? You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have it signed to have signed it out is Borco. Hmm. Who's Borco? Borco. That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Are we about to pass out? Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. What? He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. You're getting tucked in by Colonel Sanders? What the hell? Good night, my Colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. I mean, dreams are weird. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> you awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling, thinking about the secret you discovered while tasting Colonel Sanders' cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used... Blank. I, I, you still don't know what it is. Okay. And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Okay, how long am I going to keep on going? Because this has been going for an hour and nine minutes. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I think I might like Clank! What?! What the fuck?! Oh my god, she actually likes him. Oh my god, she's actually falling in love with a machine. <laughs> like him? Like, like, like? I know, it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. Oh my god. We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Oh, he actually knows about Colonel Sanders, okay. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? I mean, that's kind of to be expected. <laughs> If he's the most talented chef in the world. No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to. What? What the fuck? Okay, that doesn't even make sense. 
and it was also the convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. What? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy. Like I am with Colonel Sanders. <laughs> you and Colonel Sanders? The coolest guy in the school? The most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School? Academy for Learning? You're a thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. Exactly. You gotta have that confidence. You have an idea about how to prove that with your that your love is real. Oh my god. It's like love at first sight. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Ooh. However, you don't tell her that you know a second ingredient too, which you discovered on your own. Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Dude, I need some more water, man. This is so much reading. I'm getting really tired, man. I'm recording this kind of late. It's like 8 p.m. right now. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. Wait, what? What are you even talking about? This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder creating, created from super duper rare dried flower petals and that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. Oh my god. He was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. I think you're being, you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe, and besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. <laughs> please, please, please? It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Uh, what do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders? Sanders' secret and sh or share it with your bestie? Uh, I feel like I'd get in a lot of trouble if I shared this. Um, now we're gonna simp for Colonel Sanders, so we gotta make up a fake ingredient. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know, how about... It was Eye of Newt. I know, sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? I have Newt. Wow. Her eyes light up imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity, and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. Oh god, I'm fucking burping right now. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. Oh, is she trying to look it up? A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. Oh god, what's going on? It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school on horseback? Bro, this dude came into the campus on a fucking horse, bro. <laughs> Stand back and admire his majestic glory. Run to him. Uh, run to him. Why not? You said that the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are would be to run to him. <laughs> Surely he'll sweep you up onto the back of his stallion and you'll ride away together. That'll show her good. That's probably not what's gonna happen. Oh, Colonel, my Colonel. <laughs> However, your sudden movements surprise the horse and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. 
The force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. Oh my god. In the darkness, you see a vision. Oh, Slim Shady. I'm here to deliver you a message. Did we just fucking die? Not this guy. It is important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the world could end. So you know it's serious. I have been trapped in a realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times. And that name is... But before he can continue, you suddenly awake. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I'm surprised we're still alive. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> you awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural season musk? Ugh. <laughs> Compliment the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes, lean in for a kiss. Uh, well, I mean, running at him kind of backfired, so let's just compliment him for now. Maybe you shouldn't be riding a horse to school, and maybe you shouldn't be running- And maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who is in the wrong here. <laughs> but one thing is for sure, that Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. That horse has beautiful shoes. I can really feel how smooth and sturdy they were. When they were pressing into my face. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck is this? Ask Nasa here. No one truly appreci appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the, into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you see your two rivals. Ashley and Van Van are doing something bad. By the way, they're, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Okay, you know what? We've been going for an hour and 17 minutes. I think I'm gonna leave it off here. Oh my god, I'm so tired from all this, man. <laughs> See, I know with Danganronpa, I know it's a visual novel, but like, even in Danganronpa, there's some voice acting so that you don't have to read everything. I guess I just gotta get used to this and reading just for a straight hour. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I guess I'll leave it off here. If you guys want to see more of this game, then uh, definitely leave it in the comments. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play this game again, but who knows. If you guys like this game, then I might. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to leave it off here. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later. I can just imagine the CEO looking at this game and being like, Oh my god, this is absolute genius. We gotta release it. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, this game is free, so they're not even making money from this. Like, what, what's the point?